Haley, and today I'm going to be doing a school haul. And if you are already subscribed to me, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like my video, please hit the thumbs up. And let's get right into the video. Okay, so first I'm going to show you my book bag. It's this um, orange and navy blue floral book bag from Target. And I got my monogram on it from this um, local store in my um, town. And my lunchbox is this. It's also from Target. And it's just um, got a black background with some blue, um, pink, and white flowers. And now I'm going to show you my locker stuff. I have some gold and white chevron wallpaper for my locker. This paper and file stuff holder from Kirkland's. It goes with the um, colors of my locker. And finally, I have this pencil and pen holder from Target and it has a little mirror on the front and then from also from Kirkland's I have this pencil pouch and I already have some um, markers and pencils and stuff in here and I just have um, tape around them to know that I, that they're mine and some has gold and white chevron and others have white and um, gold polka dots. And next, I have this Lily Pulitzer Agenda from Perfect Settings, which is a store in my town. I don't know if it's just a local store or they have more other places, but I'm not exactly sure. And this binder, it's a, just a plain pink binder. It's from Walmart. And um, later in the video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this cover. And... I have some notebooks for every subject. I have a green one, a purple one, a blue one, and a pink one. And then, in my binder also, I have some dividers from Target. They are different designs. This one. This one. This one. This one, this one, and that one, and that one, and that one. And I also have some orange post-it notes in here, just in case. And then I just have five packs of paper. Yes. And I have some glue sticks and colored pencils. Those two things are from Walmart. And I think that's it. Yep, alright, now let's get to my binder cover. Okay, to make this binder cover DIY, you're going to need um, just a binder that has a slot in the front where you can put some stuff in there. You're also going to need a piece of paper for the base, some string, some glue, pictures of your choice, some Polaroid cutouts, and some little flowers. Okay, you're going to take all your supplies. And you're going to take your picture, and if you already have it, cut it out to the shape of the Polaroid, like that. And then you're going to want to flip this over, and put some glue on the back, and just put your picture on the back. Okay, so once you've glued your picture to the um, Polaroid cutout, you're going to want to find where you want to put your picture on the piece of paper. And then put some glue in that spot. And just place your picture firmly down onto where you put the glue. And then you're going to want to take your flower and your glue. And put some glue on the back of your flower. And just place your flower onto the line and top of the Polaroid. And I forgot, but to put the string on here, all you're going to want to do is put it around the paper and tape it or glue it down on the back. And sorry I didn't show you the whole, me doing the whole thing, but I had already done this and I just wanted to show you guys. So yeah, and if you want, you can take some extra flowers and just glue them around the paper for extra decoration. This is what it will look like in the end. Okay, finally, I'm going to show you the shirts I have so far for school. So the first one is from Kato's, and it's just this um, 
pretty purple, blue, green, and white shirt. It's kind of chevron with some bubbly um, designs. And then the next shirt I have, it's kind of long, but it's this um, tribal looking shirt with some studs on the sleeves. And then the next shirt is just this, um, I'm not exactly sure how to explain it, but it looks like this. And it's got this blue top. And then I have this, sorry, it came off the hanger. This shirt that's also from Kato's, it's just got a neckline right here. Um, and it's got some studs on it also. And finally, I have this bl black flowy shirt to go with some um, pants I have. All, um, also from Kato's. And that's all I have so far. And by the way, just in case you didn't catch on, all of this stuff is from Kato's, which is a store in my town. And I'm pretty sure they have more in other places, but that's just what I know. Don't forget to watch my last video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.